Okay, Trey, I got this. Fucking back, shit just about to get real. About to fucking get under the truck and do that oil pan gasket, my dogs. So, you know, had to get my suited up. Shit's about to get real. Got the Crocs in sport mode, nigga. We about to get under that truck. I'm gonna change that oil pan gasket out. Got a little bit of a leak. So I'm gonna get under there and change that shit out. While I'm in there, I'm gonna go ahead and change out that pickup tube, that little O-ring, you know? That little O-ring. I'm gonna change that shit out. And we're gonna call it a day. Thank God I don't gotta jack anything up because I don't feel like taking fucking wheels off today. So, uh, y'all motherfuckers stay tuned. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit of some fun shit going on up in this video because I feel like my last shit has just been so serious. Me talking like this and, you know, just fucking explaining things. We're gonna take this shit up a notch and we're gonna fucking just make some comedy out of this shit. Y'all stay tuned. It's Super Bowl fucking weekend. Joe, brrr. Let's go, Joe. My boy, Joe, brrr. That nigga better score some two EDs today. I mean, What's up, y'all? Y'all see my waves? Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Boom, bro. Shit's about to get real. Got the welder's cap on. Got that welder's cap on. I'm a whole new man. I'm a whole different person. They'll be talking to me only mechanic shit, and I don't want to be talking about nothing else. Stay tuned, man. Let's get under the hood. Truck's about to be under the knife. Let's go. What's up, y'all? So I'm under the truck already. I already got the fucking covers off. <sighs> it's cold as fuck a little bit. I really don't feel like being down here, but I got to put in this work, so. I'm just down here, man. Getting started. So I'm gonna take these off for the uh, steering rack, which is these right here. I'm gonna take off this whole piece right here with those two bolts that I just pointed at. They uh, go into there. They holding this all on to my, uh, what do you call that? Shit, forgetting things right now. My tie rods, so good to go out to my tie rods. No, those are not my tie rods, son of a bitch. I'm forgetting things right now, guys, bear with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. And then I gotta take off the cross member. This little bar here so I can drop under and take this out, the oil pan. So yeah, I'm gonna time lapse the rest of everything else and uh, let you guys just watch from the back or watch from over here on this side. Um, I don't need y'all in my fucking way. I need y'all to be out of the way. Cause shit's about to get real. So I'm gonna drain the oil first and uh, we'll see how it goes. Another YouTube video down, another project down. So we're about to go under the knife. Yo, y'all stay tuned. So I went ahead and drained out the oil pan. I took my filter off, drained that, uh, put everything back. Now I'm gonna just start taking off this. I'm gonna bolt down the, uh, fuck, what is this shit called? Steering rack, I'm gonna bolt that down, bring that off, and it's time to do it. I'm gonna start taking off the pan little by little. And we'll go ahead and torque this down. Should be good. All right, y'all. The fun starts. Here we go. Let's do it. Y'all already know. So yeah, I got that oil plug back on. I'm gonna take this off so I can get this pan out. Take off these two bolts back here. Now yeah, let me climb over here. God damn. And then I gotta take off all of these bolts. I gotta take off some of these brackets, these connectors. I gotta take off this connector. I gotta take off uh, these bolts back here, this bolt back here. 
the other one on that side. A lot of bolts, lots and lots of bolts. We'll see, hopefully everything goes good. Um, let's see my oil. You already know I had to whip out a beer though. A beer for the headaches. A beer for the headaches. So I got that taken off. Once I get this shit taken off, I'll go ahead and drop the pan. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take care of everything else. So yeah, let's get it going. Look at that fucking oil. It's nice and brown. Well, really dark, dark brown. You already know, man. What's going on with the knife? and got the uh i'm taking off the oil pan now i know it's kind of hard for y'all to see under here but uh i got the uh, oil pan off well it's coming off already i got the oil cooler lines off oh, if i can get under here son of a bitch. so yeah i'm taking off the uh oil pan already it's gonna come off i got a couple more bolts so, uh, yeah, this shit is really hard trying to record. It's getting dark on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the pan off and then show y'all how it looks inside when I get it off. But all right, guys, it's kind of hard. I need to hurry up. Guys, I got the oil pan off. Look at this gasket. Fucking disgusting. I mean, I'm missing a whole corner piece up here, so that's where my leak was coming out from. It was coming out through here into the back. Uh, this is pretty gross, but I mean, this is normal wear and tear of a 180,000 mile truck. So everything looks good, though. I mean, other than that, I don't see any major damages other than this gasket uh from the dealership they put rivets in here on this gasket so i'll have to just drill these out drill this one out just a little bit not to where i'm gonna penetrate the surface and then this should come right out but man this is just crazy got the oil pan out 
where you oil plug right here is where you change the oil. This is crazy. This is out pretty far. But uh yeah. Just wanted to show you all the progress. I tried recording at night, but I mean it got it just got too dark. So I, I recorded the rest of it in time lapse. I'm gonna refinish tomorrow and I'm gonna just start back up tomorrow morning and go ahead and finish recording this. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out right now and clean up this drain pan or uh, oil pan. And then I'm gonna continue the video tomorrow, guys. All right, y'all stay tuned. I'm out. Alrighty y'all, here's the uh, oil pan, cleaned it out last night at work, really good. So all this is probably from the previous owner when he was not using uh, synthetic oil. I haven't changed this gasket since I bought my truck back in 2015 when I got it from Lubbock. But I cleaned up the surface, looks really good. Here's the uh, new gasket going on today, you can kind of see where it's going gonna go there but yeah excuse the mess guys we've been busy here at the house and stuff with projects oh man I went ahead and cleaned the filter area really good it's nice and clean everything's clean man nice and clean I wish I could paint it guys but however this is an aluminum uh, oil pan so I can't really paint it I need to tighten this up oil plug up yeah, guys, this is clean, man. Like, I cleaned everything really good last night. This is probably the cleanest you'll ever see an oil pan. Because uh, once I put it back in use, it's going to just go back to being dirty. And uh, just being used, you know. But we're going to go ahead and get started today. Nice and bright and early with the sun. That's all I need to do left. Is put this shit back and change the uh, oil uh, O-ring, the pickup tube on the O-ring. Might as well do it since I have everything off already. But yeah, guys, let's get it going. Tube. Oh, I gotta go ahead and clean off all this gasket surface right here and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this part off change the uh, o-ring which is this one right here I'm gonna go ahead and change that one out put that uh, up there at the top where that 10 millimeter bolt is but first I'm gonna go ahead and clean this gasket surface looks nasty Looks pretty fucking bad, but it's all right. Probably should clean this with a little bit of brake cleaner as well. Sucking up a little bit of metal shavings there. Just a very, very small amount. But yeah, I'm trying to set up the camera so y'all can see me. Let's get to work. So guys, so I cleaned up all this. I got the uh, gasket surface good to go. Now I just need to uh, finish uh, cleaning it off a little bit. I gotta put some silicone on this area here, on the uh, block corners, corners of the block. And I can go ahead and uh, finish up. All right guys, 
That's it. I'm almost done. What's up, guys? So I just got done doing the uh, pickup tube, pickup tube O-ring. Mine wasn't that bad for uh, 170,000 miles. Wasn't that bad. I already put the new one in. 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, just tightened it up. This bolt here and this bolt here need to come off, and then this whole tube falls off. Swapped it out. Not too bad. I was expecting worse, but you know, while I had the engine gas, I mean the oil pan off, I might as well go in there and swap that one out. But uh, got that on off. About a, about time to put the oil pan back on, guys. So let's do it. What's up guys, so I'm just uh, putting, I got the oil pan back up, I'm just finishing up a couple bolts, and uh, after this, tighten up everything to about 18 foot pounds, these, uh, these two small ones that run through here, these bolts, these two, uh, these two long bolts are 8 foot pounds, and then everything else is 18 foot pounds, so you got a torque wrench. gasket seal maker on there or uh, that silicone is what you call it and uh, go ahead and uh, tighten up all this give it some oil put the new filter on right now I'm just snugging everything up and then I'll be able to finish this off um, overall guys this was a I think the hardest part about all this was uh, getting the pan in other than that, the rest of this stuff is pretty easy. I had uh, some fun doing it. The oil pickup tube was pretty easy as well. Uh, you just, you know, you just gotta take your time. And I think that's what most people don't like to do. Is it just takes up a lot of time. But me, I had uh, five days off, so I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. This set of days off. about I did I started yesterday like at three o'clock and now it's lunchtime Saturday so I want to say I'm eight hours in and I still need to add oil check check everything else and let it run for a little bit it shouldn't take too long I'm just putting everything back now I gotta put these oil cooler lines back on oil cooler gasket a lot of other stuff and then I'll be done. Alright guys, I'm gonna finish putting these bolts in on time lapse.
next day. Um, I finished yesterday, but I just, I, I didn't feel like continuing the video. I was just so tired and whatnot. So, uh, it's a nice day outside. The weather looks nice, clean and nice and bright. But I went ahead and finished that oil pan and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for y'all. I ain't got no leaks or nothing. Everything looks good on the truck. So uh, I thought it was a pretty easy job. Um, some people would consider this uh, not a novice, you know, mechanic. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic. I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I just like to work on my own vehicle. I save a lot of money doing it like this. I just thought I would share that. And uh, yeah, just, I post content like this just to motivate other young individuals to work on their vehicles and not pay a mechanic. Because it's just knowledge that you lack. That's all it is really. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. See if we got some oil pressure. I'm gonna pop the hood for you guys. And uh, I'm gonna let it run, see what happens. And uh, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and like, subscribe and uh, comment, share it with your buddies or whatever. I don't really care. I'm gonna go ahead and start this truck up and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I ain't got no leaks. I got oil pressure. That's good. I guess we'll go ahead and pop the hood. Pressure's good. Beat those miles though, guys. And the bitch still runs strong. Uh, did my cooling not too long ago, if you guys watched the last video. But uh, it sounds nice and quiet. Sounds good. Sounds good guys. Go ahead and close the hood up. But yeah, that concludes this video. I'll stay tuned for the next one.